Hello everyone, it's Myung Kujan. Today I am going to read Writing B, Chapter 5, Unit 4. I saw it all. It's fun to tell about things that we have seen. Maybe you saw an interesting bird. Or maybe you saw an amazing play at a football or baseball game. Or Leo saw something amazing happen yesterday. Today at school, he wrote about it. First, he wrote down a few things to keep his ideas in order. Then Leo wrote about what he saw. Here is his first draft. Game with P.O. Rain, then wind, tree bending, back and forth, crack. It started to rain and P.O. called me into the house. We sat by the big window and played a game. Pretty soon, it started to get windy. We planted some new trees in the backyard last week. We watched a tree in the front yard. It bent back and forth. The wind blew the branches around. All of a sudden, there was a huge crack. Pio and I saw the tree fall. Now, our, our big tree is lying across the yard. Pio says that the tree was old and rotten inside. Look back at Leo's note. Did he use those ideas in his writing? Find and circle them in Leo's first draft. Page, page 91, Unit 4, I saw it all. Leo read his draft again. He decided he could make it better. He added words to help his readers see how the tree looked. Both before it fell as it fell. He also found the sentence that didn't belong and he added a new beginning and a new ending. It started to rain and Pio called me into the house. We sat by the big window and played again. Pretty soon it started to get windy. Well, we planted some new trees in the backyard last week. Uh, that just doesn't belong in the, in the, in the story. We watched the tree in the front yard. It bent back and forth. The wind the, the whipped the branches around. All of a sudden, there was a huge crack. You and I saw the tree fall. Now uh, a big tree is lying across the yard. Pio says that the tree was old and rotten inside, and I will miss that tree. Think about something you have seen. Maybe it was something funny, or something unusual, or something really surprising. Write a few ideas here about what you saw. You might include some words that tell how something looked, sounded, smelled, felt, or tasted. Page 92. Now, write about what you saw. Look back at what you wrote on page 91 to keep your ideas in order. Remember to include describing words so readers know how things looked, sounded, or smelled. Read your writing. Can you make it better? Can you make it more interesting? Are there any ideas or sentences that don't belong? Make changes to your writing like Leah did on page 91. Then read your writing out loud to see how it sounds. The end.